All right, y'all, I'm going to be doing a Amazon haul, and it's really just a mini Amazon haul, but I'm also going to include my must-haves in this video, too, because, I mean, we all love Amazon. You have Prime, you can get it in two days, so you can't beat that. So I stay on Amazon Prime. So I'm going to start off, let's see. Some of these, some of these I have already used but i still put it to the side so i can be sure to share it with you guys so this i got and let's see i'm pretty sure so this basically is a dispenser and i saw it in another person's haul and i was like well, I've, I've been needing something like that so i think its intended purpose is for washing tape but what I'm going to use it for is my striping tape. So you can see it it has a lot of spaces too. So you can pretty much put all of your striping tape in there. And yeah, you just set it in there and then you put your string through here. And in the haul that I watched, which was um, from Talia's Nail Tails, she said that this isn't strong enough to cut it, but you can still align your striping tape to it. So let me just give you guys an example. Let's see how you, okay. So you just take this and push it out on this side and then you fit your striping tape in. Then you take this and push it back in and then you just take your striping tape. Let's see, y'all know with nails it's hard to do everything. Okay, so just take it and then have it like this. So when you get ready to use it, you won't have to always find, you know, that opening spot and it's ready to go. So this is gonna be very useful. I'm gonna fill it all up. I'm gonna put all of my stri striping tape on there. And yeah, that's a good little find. I'm, I've been looking for something like this and I was like, now I know they got something to hold this darn striping tape. And I did see the the one that only holds one. And I was like, that's not even worth getting. So I'm glad I found this. All right, next I got this. Now this is basically, let's open it up, gel. So the brand Sa Savaland, I've never used this brand before, but I typically, like when I when I go into my local nail supply store, I'll get this one. And I always see this one too on um, AliExpress. And it works pretty good. So I, I like this one. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try this one. So the reason why I got this is because you just need all kinds of art. So here lately, everyone has been doing that those abstract lines and so i was like okay i need me some painting gel so i went and ordered this and y'all i guess i did not even read the description but it's carving gel so i was like what the hell at first i was mad because i was like should i return it or what but i'm gonna keep it just so just in case you know in case i use it because you can use this for like sweater nails, if you're doing some kind of um, 3D like that, then then you can use these. And then you, it has all these different colors too. And when I typically buy something, I, I love to buy it in sets. I don't waste my time trying to get one little thing. Mm -mm. So this one I already used, it's just a white. And I, um, I use it like as a gel paint and I diluted it with um, some nail polish thinner and it worked out really good, so. I'm going to keep it, and I have not got into the brushes yet. I hadn't even opened it, but it's always good to have some little brushes. Let's see what kind they are. All right, so that's a, a detailed brush. I could use that one. Feels, ooh, look at that. It feels flimsy as heck. Like that booger gonna break. Ooh, that's flimsy. 
You can use this one to, to clean the cuticle area. That's what I typically use these flat heads for. And then another flat head. So, so I, I'm not too, too disappointed in this. I, I can always find ways to use something. So I'm gonna set that one to the side and when I need it, I'll have it. Next, I got, I, I always y'all try different tips. So if I see a certain kind of tips on there, I'll get it and I'll try it at least once. So this one is from that same company, Savaland, and I have used these already. I used it on a client I had the other day. Now, let me open it for you guys. So they're basically ballerina tips and they're the clear ones. And the reason why I got it, because look at this, it is very, like a very narrow coffin and that's what I love. And I've been basically figuring out like your shape of nails definitely is gonna come from the tips. Like that's gonna help, that's a part of the process. It's like all these little things come together and make it, you know, a good nail shape. Your application, well first the tips, your application and then how you shape. So I've been being real mindful of the tips that I use and now I'm trying to start using different ones so I can see if I find one that really works for me. So like I said, I did use these. Now the only thing is, look at that. Do you see that C curve? I'm not a real fan of a deep, deep C curve like this. I I just don't like it. I, I would rather put in my C curve towards the end with my bit instead of having one like this. So when I use this on that client, I basically sculpted it over this tip. So I laid down the tip and then when I applied the acrylic, I still went in like this and applied my acrylic and shaped my, uh, my nail. And then what happened was when I came into foul, I had all of this left and so I just fouled that off. So I don't know if I'm gonna really use these, but I mean, I'm gonna give them another shot and, and see if they come in handy. So I don't know, we'll see. And keeping on track with tips, I got these bad boys. So these are extra long uh, tips basically. And they're the straight kind too. So I've been seeing a lot of people using these long tips. So I was like, oh yes, I need to get me some. So the longer they are, the straighter they're going to be, which is the reason why I got these. This is, this is what I'm looking for, especially when it comes to tapered square. I'm looking for that real defined, straight, narrow tip. But like I said, look at that C curve. Oy, I don't know y'all. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to really dig it, but I'm going to see because most of the time what I'll do is I'll apply the tip and then I'll come in and just cut, cut it into shape. Either I'll cut it into shape or I'll sculpt over it like I was just saying and just take off all of that excess. So it really doesn't end up being that deep of a C curve. So I got it in natural and then... I got it in clear. And that's how I always buy my tips. Like I make sure to get a natural and to get a clear because I do a lot of glass nails. So those are the tips that I got. Next, oh, I'm really excited about this next one, y'all. So this I got, let's see. I'm gonna open it and just let y'all see what I got. I'm about to be airbrushing some folks. Look at that, y'all. I bit the bullet. I have been seeing too many girls starting to do these little cute designs with this airbrush. And I remember always back in the day getting an airbrush. And of course, it faded out. But now they're bringing it back in and they're doing some really cute designs. So I was like, chow, psh, you ain't finna leave me and my clients out, honey. I went and got me some. So just off the bat, this is my first time opening it. I have not used it, so I can't give you any 
details or anything about it, but you guys know I'm definitely going to be doing a review for this one. So I will definitely do a separate video and do like a review and a how-to of, of this airbrush. And like I said, I went and looked on Amazon and of course, anytime I buy anything, I always check the reviews. Now, since this is my first time using it, I went on the more inexpensive side. I didn't wanna buy like this expensive one and then I end up messing it up. So I just purchased this one and I believe it wasn't no more than $50. So you can't beat that. So I have watched uh, a lot of the videos on these. So I'm pretty confident in using it. But yeah, once I do hunty, y'all definitely will be seeing it. <laughs> I've already had clients too. Like I'm, I'm telling them, I'm like, girl, get ready. We are about to start airbrushing, honey. It, we gonna get into it. Gonna get active on them. Let me put my little instructions back in there. But yes, so I, I got me an airbrush. And I can't wait to use it. Next thing I got, and this is in conjunction with the airbrush. I got a bunch of acrylic paint. Now, like I said, I was watching a bunch of videos on how to, you know, airbrush. And a lot of girls were using gel polish. And I watched the ones with gel polish. I watched the ones with acrylic paint. And I think I'm going to I'm going to try the acrylic paint first because I think that that does a smoother finish than the gel polish. But I'm definitely going to try both to see what works for me the best. But these paints weren't very expensive either, so I just went and got, you know, all of these. It has basically all of the the colors you need, primary colors, bright colors, browns, all that good stuff. And even back in the day, uh, when I first started doing nails, like with nail art, I used to use acrylic paint too. So I done brought it back, honey. Got me some acrylic paint. Now this one is not from Amazon, but it goes with my airbrush. So I'm, so I'm gonna show you guys. And it's basically the stencils to use. And when I was searching for stencils, I looked on Amazon and they had a bunch of bunch of stencils, but they were all like psh, palm trees, little four leaf clovers, basically some, some bull corn. I was like, uh-uh, honey, I need some cute stuff. So I found this girl on Instagram and she sells stencils and they're just y'all, these little stickers. And I, I saw too that she makes them with her, um, that what is that machine like that cry cry cook circuit whatever it is so i was like don't make me buy one of those <laughs> because if you can make your own i need to be making me some honey don't make me get in the game and i'll be up in here making stencils making shirts or whatever <laughs> but i'm like okay uh, i might check that out too y'all because that's how i am i'm like diy if i see someone else and they're diying and they're making it I'm like, shoot, I need to be. And these were, I think, no more than three, five dollars, but still, I'm like, mm, I can be making some. But anyway, so the ones I got are I got some hearts, dollar signs, some clouds, some flames, more flames. And then I got different types too because. <clears throat> On her website, she stated that some of them were uh, vinyl stickers and then some other kind. And she was like, get all three and then you can decide which one you like the best. So this is how the different um, prints of them are the different material. I don't know which one is which, so I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll link basically her her website so you guys can look through it. But these ones are flames. Playboy, Bunny, more Playboy, and that's it. So I'm just gonna start off with these. And, and like I said, the more I use it, and if it's something you know that comes easy to me or something that I, I tend to use a lot, then I will definitely keep buying some. And I might too, I thought about just buying the, the stencils that were on Amazon, just so I can have, you know, a, a lot of variety of stencils because you never know you I did see like um what did I see on there in one of those stencils I saw I saw some flames I saw some hearts 
I saw something else too that I would use, but it was like a hundred stickers and maybe out of those hundred stickers, I saw a handful that I would use. And I mean, they're really cheap, so it, it won't hurt to try it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into the must have. So these are things that I always repurchase when I'm on Amazon. So the first thing, of course, are my nail tips. I always buy ballerina and I always buy stiletto. So here is the ballerina and I need to repurchase some but I always get the ballerina tips and, and I have them in natural and clear. And my uh, current favorite uh, nail tips are these stilettos. So I always purchase, repurchase these over and over again. So you always need tips. Another repurchase item is the Mia Secret Mia Secret Prep. This is the only combination that I use. And sometimes like if I'll buy my um, monomer, like I like to buy my monomer on like Nail Supply Glamour because they sell the big gallon. I'll buy my uh, Prep and Prime there. But here lately they haven't been having the monomer. So I've just been going to Amazon and buying my Prep there. So I always repurchase that. So something else that I always purchase on Amazon are a few of my bits, my important bits. So this one is a extra, extra coarse volcano bit. I use this to um, take down acrylic. So when someone comes in and they want a soak off, I use this and I use it at a high speed too. And now the thing with this though, these do dull down. So if, you're, if you have yours and you haven't replaced it, then go ahead and replace it. I'm always though on edge when I uh, get a new one because when they come new, they are sharp, hunty. You got to be careful. But this one has that round top. So it's, it's basically a safety one. So I just go in with it. But go ahead and when you uh, feel it going dull, buy you a new one. You'll see how much time it cuts off when you when you're using a new one and then a dull one so always repurchase this and then another thing that y'all another bit that you always see in my videos are the safety bits i this is the only one i use if i'm going and uh, taking down bulk when i'm finished filing so this one i have like i have a bunch of them because i i do maybe like three clients a day and so if i'm if I have a busy day and I don't have time to clean my uh, implements in between, I like to make sure that I have enough bits to, to last me through the day. So I, I always buy a bunch of these. Another thing for bits is my sanding bands. I, I Like I said, I love to buy in bulk, so I'll just go on Amazon and I'll buy like the most that they have. If they have a little 500 pack, I'll get it. But they'll come, they came in like a bag like this, and then they'll come in a bunch of these different bags. And like I said, I always use this for prep. Something else that I always repurchase on Amazon is my Young Nails Stain Resistant Top Coat. Now you guys know, this is my favorite. They do sell it at my local nail supply store but sometimes they have it sometimes they don't so if they do not have it then i'll just go to amazon and purchase it it's cheaper at my nail supply store it's um, about 15 dollars there and then on amazon it's 19. but i mean i have to have it so <laughs> if they don't have it at the store i'm gonna purchase me some off amazon okay and for the the last thing that i always repurchase off of amazon is my clear and my monomer. Like I said, I, I buy the big clear from Amazon. I, they never have the big monomer there. They, the biggest size that they have is the 32 ounces, I believe. So I always get the big clear. And then um, if I'm in a rut, I'll get that little 32 ounce. But typically I always try to buy my um, gallons like from Nail Supply Glamour or somewhere like that. So 
I always get this. So that's it for my little mini haul. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed it. It was just, you know, me showing you guys just a few things that I got and the, the things that I always get. So I'm going to be sure to leave all of the links below. So go there, get you some stuff. Make sure if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go and follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with the, the nails that I'm posting and all of that good stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in another video. Bye!